Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's uh, 9.45 p.m. Uh, October 2nd of 2023. And I'm using the uh, Avery Media camera, but I'm using the, you know, the sound uh, off of my V-Fine microphone so I just now I've been uh, doing all kinds of stuff the previous video I think mentions it I just uh, cleaned everything off my bed over onto that black table over there which you can't see let's see what I can do here Yeah, see that wire and stuff. <laughs> that's that's the black uh, table. Well, let me show you the bed. It's all cleared off. Oh. I'm thinking about killing a couple of lights here. Because the lighting doesn't quite look right. me and so I'm sort of wondering uh, let's see how far I can move back and still have the microphone working um, my problem with the uh, bank account being hacked into I think is taken care of now I haven't got the card yet but I'll get a new card and this will, this will be a lesson to me, I think, you know, to be more careful. You just can't let your, you know, guard down at all, and I, I did. I was anxious to, uh, I think I was, let's see, was I hooking up the Verizon? I forget, I was, I was in a hurry to do something and let my guard down. I think that's the first time I've had my bank account uh, attacked. There's a few times I've uh, somebody's taken advantage of me, some software manufacturer or somebody, or you know, if you get billed for something and you don't realize they're, you know, going to bill you every month or. You know, they're going to give you a notice ahead of time that, hey, you know, we'll be taking out, you know, X amount of money in a few days and that type of stuff. But first time I've uh, been hacked that I can remember, when I was running WordPress back in the past, and I forget, what was it? Uh, I forget what the software, what it was written in. But there were tremendous numbers of people who used that software. And there were a lot of people who knew little tricks or they were using it. And if, there, if some problem was uh, popped up where they could take advantage you know, of it. And I think once or twice, I think once on the front page of my uh, WordPress uh, publication they replaced a picture or did something and then there was another time something like that happened and uh, it was, wasn't a problem for me and I really didn't care you know that much but uh, I you know I'm a grown man and I'm 82 and I should have known more about WordPress now they had her um, PayPal, although they had nothing to do with it. Um, the hack. Uh, I mean, actually, I was the one. I logged into the wrong site, and then when there was things that should have tipped me off right away, I kept going a little further. So really, I'm the one to blame for it. I do wish that there, that the government, the you know, law enforcement and whatever would 
uh, crack down at some of these people that do uh, things like that. You know that the uh, you know the foreign also. I understand there's a problem. You know with the foreign. Uh, you know we have our jurisdiction and laws here, but you know the uh, people who send out notices. You know that. Uh, Oh, you know, I'm the wife of Ili Ali Wankabanka, and he w was the financial uh, uh, leader of the country, and he was in charge of all the banks and gold. And uh, I've got a ton of gold bricks here <laughs> that like that, that send out those things. You know, I never fell for any of those things, but I just wish that. Uh, I just wish that the world was different in a lot of different ways. And uh, I mentioned this before, and I can't remember the details. I can't remember the guy's name or anything else. There was a, uh, a guy who, I forget what he scammed. Well, I think he did more than one scam. I mean, he had something going on all the time, and he was uh, causing problems for people and making money for himself and doing all this kind of stuff and um, there I remember reading that this one guy was responsible for three fourths or something of the spam the spam that was coming in that was trying to uh, get money from you and all that kind of stuff that this guy was responsible for three four seven maybe more than that and uh, you know I found out not I mean I didn't do any it wasn't I'm not you know, but I was reading about this and the uh, you know the police all over the world wanted this guy because Every, probably just about everybody I think in the country you were getting hit everybody just about everybody who had some type of internet connection you were getting hit with things from this guy every day that uh, he was kicking out or um, maybe he was also selling the software that kicked out these things and I forget exactly the details but he was like definitely should have been, been, been America's most wanted and uh I wrote about him and that the fact that he was going to be in California speaking before a big group of uh, people at, you know, someplace prestigious and he was going to, and that there was warrants, for, it seems to me like he was from Australia or someplace like that, but I'm not sure, but that there were warrants and all that kind of stuff and uh, I blogged about that, you know, and I said, you know, here's the guy's name, here's the guy's picture. Here's where he's going to be at such and such a time. I said, somebody should make us, if you have to, make a citizen's arrest. I said, of course, and I went into detail. I said, of course, he's going to be paying for off-duty police officers as security detail to protect, you know, to protect him or whatever. And I said, if you go rushing up on there and try to make a citizen's arrest or something, I said, the police may just, you know, just beat you or they may fucking shoot you. And uh, I said, which, you know, I said, every one of those police officers and their wives probably have all had this guy attempting to, you know, victimize, uh, you know, them. And, you know, something should be, you know, something should be done about it. Take him into custody, you know, right now. But I said, and I explained again, you know, but, uh, and, you know, doing a, a citizen's arrest is not something really should be recommended. It's legal in the, in the United States, and although I'm sure it varies from state to state. You know, the circumstances and that type of stuff. And I've talked about uh, police officers making arrest and then police officers making citizen's arrest and uh, citizens making, and then the, and I talked about in detail of how you could be in, you know, in difficulty, you could be doing a, a citizen doing what you thought was the right thing and how it can, if you made a citizen's arrest, how it come back and bite you in the ass. Where when a police officer makes a arrest, you know, he has protection. And I, I explained, I made up a, a case uh, 
to illustrate that. But uh, anyway, uh, I believe if I remember correctly, the guy, you know, made his speech or whatever, and I think he returned to Australia or maybe he had to go someplace else, I don't know. But you have so many things like that that happen. I mean, why can't, you know, we need to follow the rules of law, you know, and everybody's, you know, innocent until proven guilty and all these various things. But when you get something, some of these things should, somebody should, you know, you know, I'm opposed to the death penalty and always have been for numerous reasons, the reasons that people who are opposed to it, you know, give. Um, but if you can't put somebody, if you can't put them in prison for life, and know for sure that they are not going to get out. I mean, unless they're found, you know, that it made it, a mistake was made. But if they're put in life, you know, they do something so bad that they're in life, you know, in prison for life, you know, they should be in prison for life and not going to be getting out. And if, if you can't guarantee that that person is going to be, you know, if, you, if they don't have the security and the procedures and everything else, if that person's going to be able to escape, then I'm in favor of giving them the death penalty. Um, and I, I forget where I read it or heard it. It was un, it was an unbelievable story, but it was supposedly a true story. That here in uh, Texas, everything in Texas is uh, political. I mean, it's all people, you know, getting into a position where they can get money or where they can, you know, it's just really, whether it's a, you know, a water commissioner or whether it's a, uh, the person in charge of the agency that uh, is supposed to supervise the uh, uh, thing where you pay day loans or whatever, where you go and you uh, borrow money and they charge you like 200% interest, or I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I mean, the guy in Texas that was put in charge of, of the agency, he owned about, I don't know, 40 or 50 of those payday loan uh, places. Um, but, um, oh, here in Texas, the parole board or whatever it's called, it's, you know, it's, it's political. And anyway, there was some people, I mean, killers, I mean, bad people who were up for parole, you know, or something, and they were turned down. And then, since I'm from Missouri, I happen to remember, I didn't hear about it when I was in Missouri. But the story that came out was like the police in Missouri, uh, you know, stopped this guy or whatever, and then they ran him, you know, and it, it came back that he was, you know, in prison in Texas. And uh, the parole board, I'm not sure if it was the parole board or some group underneath the parole board or the person, in, you know, somebody, they were getting money and uh, from somebody and releasing some of these people who should not be released. And I'm surprised that I haven't, that we all haven't heard more about you know about that that seems to me like I'm not sure it'd be a good movie maybe somebody made it. I doubt it you know probably hushed up anyway I'm getting ready to uh, go to bed this is being made oh, I already told you that with the Avery media camera and uh, the V5-O-FOM microphone V five O fum. I smell the blood of a Englishman. Is that what the what the thing is? Anyway, I really need to get to bed. I I worked a lot today. Remember, I'm eighty two, so but I need to get to bed. So, thank you very much for watching.